can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this equation for x squared minus 40 times the floor value of x plus 51 equals 0, this is a complex quadratic equation wherein x here is a real number. And also, the floor value, this symbol means the floor value of x or the greatest integer less than or equal to x. For example, the floor value of pi, pi is 3.14. So the floor value of pi simply equivalent to just 3. All right. Now the question is what is or what are the values of x that satisfies this equation? Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. All right. So how do we answer this kind of question? So first, let's focus on this floor value of x. So to answer this, we will use some concept involving the floor and the ceiling value of x. Now from here, we will focus to the concept of the floor value, specifically the third line. So it says that the floor value of x is equivalent to m if and only if x minus 1 is less than m and this m is less than or equal to x. So using this concept, so we know m is greater than x minus 1 but less than or equal to x. Now this m we know this is equivalent to the floor value of x. So we can replace this m with the floor value of x. So now using this concept, we will solve for all possible values of the floor value. Then after getting all possible values of the floor value, we will now solve for the value of x. So now how do we start? So first, Let's multiply this inequality by negative 40. And if we do that, as you can see, the inequality symbol flip. Now, this is called the change of sense. Now, for example, 1 is less than 3 for sure. But if we multiply this by negative 1, negative 1 now is greater than negative 3. So the inequality change, and that is called the change of sense. So now let's continue. So what we're going to do is to add... 4x squared plus 51. So we know 4x squared is a positive number for sure, and 51 is a positive number, so the inequality doesn't change at all. And now, let's simplify this. Let's combine 40 plus 51 is just 91, and the rest is bring down. And now, from here, the middle term, 4x squared minus 40 times floor value of x plus 51, this is given, and this is just equivalent to 0. And now, let's focus on this result. And from here, we have two possible cases. So the first one is this equation, this inequality rather, for x squared minus 40 times x plus 91 is greater than 0. And the other one is for x squared minus 40x plus 51 is less than or equal to 0. Now, what we're going to do is to solve these two inequalities to solve for the possible values for the floor value of x. Now, let's focus first to this first inequality because for x squared minus 40x plus 91, we can factor this out nicely as 2x minus 7 multiplied by 2x minus 13. And the other case, 4x squared minus 40x plus 51, this expression on the left-hand side, we can factor this out nicely as 2x minus 3 multiplied by 2x minus 17. Now, from here, we can now get the critical points. So, the critical points is when we equate those factors to 0. So 2x minus 7 equals 0, we get x equals 7 over 2. 2x minus 13 equals 0, we get x equals 13 over 2, and we will do the same thing to these two factors. And from here, to answer this, we will use, of course, the number line. And using those critical points, now for sure, since this inequality is greater than 0. So these two critical points is not counted. On the other hand, this inequality is less than or equal to 0. So these two critical points are counted. And now from here, we will need some test value. So the number that is less than 7 over 2 or 3.5, let's use 0. And let's replace all x with 0. So meaning this is 0 and this is also 0. Negative 7 times negative 13 is a positive number. 
So a positive number that is always greater than zero. So this region is good. Now, another test value, let's call this four. So we have here eight minus seven, that is positive. And this is eight minus 13 is negative. Positive times negative is a negative number and a negative number is not greater than zero. So this is not counted. Now, another test value, let's call this seven because 13 over 36.5. So 7 is in this region. So plug in 7, and we get also this number is a positive. So positive is greater than 0. So this is included. And we're done to the first inequality. So now let's move on to the second. So again, let's have some test values. So let's call this 0. If we plug in 0 to x, we have here negative and negative. So negative times negative is positive, and positive is not less than or equal to 0. So this region is not good. So how about this region? Test value is 2. Plug in 2, we get a negative number, and negative number is less than or equal to 0. So this is good. And if you plug in 9, test value, because 17 over 2 is 8.5. And so the test value is 9. And if you plug in 9, we get another positive number, which is not less than or equal to 0. So this region is also not good. And now, to get the range, for all possible values for the floor value of x, we will need the intersection of these two. And that intersection is this region from 3 over 2 up to 7 over 2, and this region from x 13 over 2 up to 17 over 2. And from here, we will now get the possible values for the floor value of x. So from 1.5 up to 3.5. So x can be, the floor value of x can be 1, 2, or 3. And from this interval, 6.5 up to 8.5. So we have 6, 7, and 8. Now since we have 6 possible values for the floor value of x, so let's check all of those cases and see if we get a real value for x. So now the first case, if the floor value of x equals 2 positive 1. So given this equation, so we have 4x squared minus 40 times 1, which is the floor value of x plus 51 equals 0. Now solving for x, so first let's combine this. Simplifying this equation, we have 4x squared equals negative 11. Divide both sides by 4, we have x squared equals negative 11 over 4. And now getting the square root of this number, negative 11 over 4, we get an imaginary number. And since we said that x is a real number, so this case is not possible because the value of x is not a real number. So let's move on to the next case wherein x, the floor value of x is equivalent to 2. So we have our equation for x squared minus 40 times 2 plus 51 equals 0. Simplify, we have 4x squared equals 29. And divide both sides by 4 get the square root on both sides, since the floor value is 2, therefore, we don't care to the negative value for x because we want here a positive value for x because the floor value of that number is positive 2. So getting the square root on both sides, we get x is equivalent to square root of 29 over 2, which is square root of 29 is about 5.4 divided by 2 is approximately equivalent to 2.7. And 2.7 is between... 1.5 and 3.5. So we found the first value, real value of x that satisfies this equation. So square root of 29 over 2. So that's the first. All right, how about the second, the third case when the floor value of x is equivalent to 3? So our equation, we have 4x squared minus 40 times 3 plus 51 equals 0. Simplify, 4x squared equals 69. And then divide both sides by 4, get the square root on both sides. Square root of 69 over 2. Now, square root of 69 is above 8 because square root of 64 is 8. So, 8 over 2 is 4. So, this number is greater than 4 but less than 5. And this number is in this region. Therefore, this value is rejected because we want the number x must be between 1.5 to 3.5 and 6.5 to 8.5. So this value is rejected. 
All right, so now let's have the fourth case when the floor value of x equivalent to 6. So we have 4x squared minus 40 times 6 plus 51 equals 0. Simplify, we have 4x squared equals 189. Now divide both sides by 4. And then what we're going to do is to get the square root on both sides. So x is equivalent to the square root of 189 over 2, which is approximately equal to 6.8. And 6.8 is between 6.5 and 8.5. So this is our second real value for x. Now we have the pip case when x, the floor value of x, equivalent to 7. So again, we have here 4x squared minus 40 times 7 plus 51 equals 0. Simplify, we have 4x squared equals 229. Divide both sides by 4. Get the square root on both sides. x equals square root of 229 over 2, which is approximately equal to 7.6. And again, we found the third real value for x. Now, the last case, when the floor value of x is equivalent to 8. So we have 4x squared minus 40 times 8 plus 51. Simplify. 4x squared equals 269. Divide both sides by 4. Get the square root on both sides. We have x equals square root of 269 over 4, which is approximately equal to 8.2, which is in this region. Therefore, we found the last possible value of x that satisfies this equation. And there you have it. So given... This equation, 4x squared minus 40 times the floor value of x plus 51 equals 0, wherein x is a real number. Then we found 4 real value of x that satisfies this equation. We have square root of 29 over 2, square root of 189 over 2, square root of 229 over 2, and the last one, square root of 269 over 2. And as always, we are done but before we end this video using this concept i want you to answer this question so given that x is a real number also that satisfies this equation x squared minus 10 times the floor value of x plus 9 equals 0 then the goal is to find all real value of x that satisfies this equation so i hope you learned something new today and see you on our next